Professor Terence Ryan is a pioneer in the field of dermatology with unmatched credibility as a teacher, a scientist, a doctor, a mentor to many budding professionals and many more. His contributions to medical science, especially in the fields of skin and its intricate blood supply system, leprosy and lymphology are invaluable. The transformative studies that he led redefined the world's understanding of lymphatics and its diseases. Professor Ryan's journey from a tumultuous childhood to the hallowed halls of the prestigious Oxford University is one of courage, conviction and marked by his brilliant ability to find solutions to complicated issues such as lymphedema, which is a huge disability worldwide. At 91 years of age, he continues to serve the Oxford University as the Emeritus Professor of Dermatology. His razor-sharp intellect is as intact as ever and is constantly on the prowl to find solutions to issues facing the society at large. My career started as a rather lonely child because both my parents were in the war and I had many different schools and I failed many exams. To get into Oxford was difficult, but I was lucky because pit, people took pity on me. Eventually, I qualified in medicine, and one of my first interests was in the skin and in the blood supply. Professor Ryan's relentless pursuit of knowledge took him across continents where he became a leading authority on the blood supply and lymphatics of the skin from 1960s to 1980s. He contributed immensely to medical literature and his pivotal role in shaping global dermatology organizations led to advancing the science of dermatology. Morbidity management of lymphatic filariasis and lymphedema is critical in treating swollen and infected limbs. Realizing the importance of the role of nurses in managing such diseases, Professor Ryan persuaded pharmaceutical companies to provide funds for the training of nurses. The effort yielded new national and international nursing organizations. It was while traveling around India on behalf of the St. Francis Leprosy Guild, he became interested in other systems of medicine such as Ayurveda and Siddha. As majority of the populations has been using traditional medicines for generations in India, he felt that they should not be ignored. Soon after his return to UK, he got his department involved in studying alternative and complementary medicine, including traditional medicine. In a study of 9,000 persons, it was found that 75% of them were using vitamin and herbal remedies without informing their doctors and were at risk of untoward interactions with biomedical prescriptions. Narrowing down further, the study did eventually show benefits in the use of traditional medicines. Professor Ryan's vast experience of working in five continents did play a major role in arriving at this result. It was at this juncture that the universe conspired to make things happen for Professor Ryan and how. Two brilliant minds, Professor Ryan and Dr. S. R. Narahari, the founder of the Institute of Applied Dermatology, met each other at the 2002 World Ayurvedic Congress in Kochi, Kerala. When people of such dedication to serve the society in an altruistic manner join hands, there can only be one result possible. With that spirit, the mentor-student relationship between the two started blossoming. Professor Ryan continues to mentor Dr. Narahari and his institute even to this day. Their journey took a meaningful and decisive turn when they started a collaborative program for testing the effectiveness of Ayurveda and yoga for lymphedema management. They sought guidance from yoga physiologist Shirley Tellis in this regard. Dr. Guru Prasad the senior Ayurveda physician, and Dr. Prasanna, a dermatologist of the Institute of Applied Dermatology, played a major role too. Together, they developed a comprehensive system involving yogic exercises and Ayurvedic massage with breathing coordination. 
their seamless integration with biomedicine immediately showed promising results in terms of emptying the lymph from the skin. This groundbreaking work soon earned accolades from prestigious organizations and journals focused on the lymphatic system. Real excitement was when the World Health Organization a couple of years ago looked at a large number of patients, more than 2,000, at a stage when we'd already treated 4,000 patients. Not only had we treated 4,000 patients, but by collaboration with teams in Bangalore, we had developed a system of very good data collection so that we could present to everybody uh, exactly what was happening in terms of results. This was uh, very important and the World Health Organization, I'm pleased to say, then announced that this was the best program of integrated medicine anywhere in the world. The treatment of lymphatic filariasis is now being expanded to other parts of the country with the support of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Professor Peter Mortimer, Professor Christine Moffat and other students of Professor Ryan are providing the technical support to improvising the treatment. Dr. Guru Prasad and other Ayurveda doctors are leading the expansion efforts. Having achieved so much in life, the appetite of Professor Ryan to serve the society is still very strong. For him, the journey continues with his other interests with equal vigor. As a trustee of an organization called ACT Asia, he is working for the betterment of children in China and other countries of Asia. And I too am worried about children, those with lymphedema. We have seen one on this visit and we've seen families who are struggling because of lymphedema in managing their children. What I'm most concerned about is what is called the left behind children. The new concept of One Health is extremely important because we have to look at the animal kingdom, we have to look at human beings, we have to look at the environment, and One Health covers all three of these in the face of really frightening changes. Professor Terence Ryan continues his journey of compassion and innovation, leaving a lasting impact on global healthcare and the well-being of future generations. In the quest for healing, one man's vision has illuminated the path forward. Professor Ryan has indeed strengthened the R&D cooperation environment between UK and India.